The 80 Instruments Human Non-Invasive Blood Pressure Controller is fully controlled by lab chart, which will display the systolic, diastolic, mean arterial, and finger pressures in real time. Begin by connecting your computer with a USB cable and connect the power cord. It is optional to connect the analog output to a power lab input. Next, connect the cable assembly and air tubing to the front panel. Be sure to tighten the connection with a screwdriver. Then, power on the human NIBP controller. On a computer that is running LabChart Pro, install the human NIBP device enabler from either the Feature Manager, the AD Instruments website, or the provided software CD. In the Welcome Center, choose the human NIBP settings file. Notice the device name appears at the top of the document and the Start button has been enabled. Now, apply the finger cuffs to a volunteer. Proper application is critical for success. Place the middle, index, or ring finger in the cuff. The LED and photo cell should be symmetrically placed on each side of the finger's soft parts in the center of the middle phalanx. Wrap the cuff tightly for best performance, then lead the cuff cable and air hose in between the two fingers to the back of the hand. If finger cuff switching is to be used, repeat these steps for a second finger on the same hand. Next, apply the wrist unit to the volunteer, fastening the strap firmly so that it cannot twist, but not so firmly that circulation is impeded. Attach the upper arm straps near the level of the heart. Then, insert the cuff cable and air hose connectors for each finger cuff into the wrist unit. Before connecting the HCU, it must be zeroed. Hold the HCU transducer and the reference point at the same level. In lab chart, click Setup, then Human NIBP Settings, and in this dialog, click Zero. We are now ready to apply the HCU. Attach the transducer to a finger cuff and connect the HCU to the back of the wrist unit. Then, attach the reference end to the arm strap near heart level. Let's review the settings before we begin collecting data. In lab chart, click Setup, then Human NIBP Settings. The default options are a good starting point. The ongoing auto calibration will greatly improve the accuracy of your measurements. We have two finger cuffs applied, so let's choose to start with cuff C1 and switch every 30 minutes. And finally, we have the option to enable test mode. The test mode will perform a pressure check on the human NIBP controller. Details can be found in the owner's guide. We're now ready to begin a blood pressure measurement. Simply click Start in Lab Chart. And whenever you have questions, be sure to ask your AD Instrument Support representative.